so you know, I figured I would go ahead and just post a video to this here to the uh, YouTube series and whatnot so everybody can see it. But a lot of my local friends was asking me, hey, Terry, how do you make a preset in uh, Lightroom? And instead of going on Google and finding somebody that's way more qualified to answer the question, they came to me and wanted me to make a video tutorial about it. So here I am, folks. So this is how you can make a really quick uh, preset here in Lightroom Classic, okay? So with that being said, you want to go ahead and open up the photo you you would like. This is a uh, client's duster that I happen to take some photos of. Now I'm going to go ahead and slap a preset on here that I made on my phone, but I actually just like the way it looks on a lot of the types of photos that I take. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my desk one here, and it looks like this here. Now you might say, well, that looks okay, but personally, I think it looks a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up the exposure about right there. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to bring down the vibrance just a little bit, and I'm going to crank up the actual saturation because I want this to be really nice, nice and punchy. So I think around 70 is okay so i think for this here i'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this just for this video i think it looks pretty good so i i want to save this look so i can apply it to other photos and, and you could just say well can you just apply the preset you just did and then tweak it again well yeah but we're all lazy here so why would you want to do more than one click right to make your own custom preset all you got to do is this here Go right up here to preset, click the little plus sign, and hit create preset. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a name here. So let's just call this here um, car style one. And I'm actually going to go ahead and make a new group to put this preset in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say new group cars. All right. Now, by default, it actually will stay on that user presets, and you can leave it in there if you want to, but again, I'm just making a new group to separate this type of preset here, okay? So again, car style one, I gave it a new group. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit create, and as you'll see here, folks, it's right there. So just to verify it worked, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the photo. Oh no, I just lost all of my work. Boom, done. So yeah, you know, everybody, there's a million different types of videos on this platform by people that are way more qualified to talk about this kind of stuff, but yet y'all happen to stumble on mine. So hey, you know what? Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you want to see more content like this here on the channel, do me a huge favor, get this video liked, and of course, hit that big red subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys and gals next time.